Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padawa once again and we are turning now to our topical water analysis for this Wednesday to Friday, December 30, 2020 until January 1st, 2021 and this is now our last uh, English version of topical water analysis uh, for the year of 2020 and our next analysis will be on next year, okay, January 1, 2021. And this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. 2020 is just a crazy year. And uh, anyway, let's uh, proceed with our update. Here's the latest graph set beginning today, Wednesday, until tomorrow, Thursday. We have a cold surge. This is a strong one of the northeast monsoon together with a stationary, together with a tail end of a frontal system, also known as shear line. Okay, and this will bring some cooler temperatures across Luzon and some portions of Mimaropa within the next uh, 24 hours. And it will extend until the next two to three days. And also it will uh, affect some portions of the Visayas, particularly eastern Visayas and northern sections of the Visayas. And uh, right now, you can see here, it's over the vicinity of northern Quezon, the uh, boundary of this uh, frontal system and its tail end. So expect some heavy showers and thunderstorms within the next 24 hours across the vehicle region and some portions of central and southern Luzon, particularly the eastern sections. So we could experience winds of up to 75 or 80 kph if you're living along the coastal areas of uh, eastern Luzon and the coastal areas of Bicol region, while inland areas will have winds of up to 65 kph. So prepare for some gale force winds. So areas along the uh, coastal uh, the coastal areas of uh, Luzon will be uh, rough and dangerous to all types of sea vessels because of some uh, large waves generated by this monsoonal flow. Uh, down here over the southern portion and western portion of uh, Mindanao, including Sulu Archipelago and Palawan, uh, we could experience some showers and thunderstorms brought about by the surface trough interconnected between a shallow low pressure area which is now moving towards the southwest across the uh, southernmost part of the South China Sea. So this uh, LPA will uh, eventually dissipate in the next uh, few days as the surge of the uh, northeast monsoon will uh, infuse or will penetrate the circulation of this LPA killing it within the next uh, couple of days. Uh, outside of power, we don't have any uh, developing LPA. We just have here a surface trough, a couple of surface trough, including some showers and thunderstorms. Right now, it's quite strong, these uh, uh, surface troughs and rains and thunderstorms brought about by the existing moderate to strong La Nina phenomenon. Okay, so folks, uh, wear your sweater for the next few days, particularly over northern Luzon because the temperature will slightly drop, especially here across Metro Manila and also over Bicol region around 22 or 23 degrees Celsius as the surge of the Amihan or the Northeast Monsoon will continue to go down. Okay, so uh, let's move now to our fast animation. You can clearly see here some rain showers and thunderstorms brought about by the surge of the uh, Northeast Monsoon. Okay, over the zone, as well as the surface trough, uh, what about by this uh, shallow LPA over here? And you can also clearly see here some uh, mid level uh, movement of these thunderstorms across the Visayas, but these are just passing rain showers and thunderstorms. And as you can uh, see it here, if we look at our windy.com uh, satellite zoom in satellite animation. There are lots of thunderstorms now across Mimaropa, southern Tagalog provinces, Bicol region, and portions of the Visayas as well as uh, Palawan and western Mindanao. And you can clearly see here the, uh, you can observe here in the background the surge of the uh, 
northeast monsoon moving across the eastern sections of Luzon and it will uh, go down across the Bicol region by tomorrow so uh, just stay safe always and as we look at our uh, uh, three to four day rain pressure and wind forecast let's begin to check the wind so this is from the ECMWF model and uh, through the uh, windy.com app and you can clearly see here the boundary of the uh, tail end of a uh, stage tail end of a frontal system so at this boundary there could be some showers and thunderstorms there could be showers and thunderstorms we're going to, we're going to show it to you in a while if we uh, switch towards the rain and thunder activity so this is the wind gust affecting uh, much of the zone today by tomorrow morning the uh, monsoon will continue to dig down there's there's your uh, shear line or the tail end of a frontal system affecting northern Bicol by 8 a.m tomorrow and some increase of wind speeds of up to 65 kph across mainland Bicol while up to 70 or 80 kph across the coastal areas of Bicol region so by tomorrow morning to the afternoon we could expect some showers and thunderstorms across Bicolandia and southern Tagalog provinces including Mindoro and as we move towards uh, uh, New Year's Eve let's move to 12 midnight of January 1st there you go still windy and some showers and thunderstorms and as we uh, move to uh, Friday January 1st still windy but it will start to uh, uh, weaken through the evening of January 1 but on January 2 is still the same wind scenario but on January 3 the uh, northeast monsoon will start to weaken shifting from the easterlies so it will change uh, the uh, a bit the temperature will uh, start to rise up okay now let's move to check our rain and thunder because that's the uh, uh, wind so by tomorrow morning uh, you could see some rains and thunderstorms across northern Quezon and Polilio and on Thursday afternoon uh, also gonna be some rains and thunderstorms across Camarines provinces as well as some portions of the Bicol region including Catandawanes and on Friday morning uh, there could be some heavy showers and thunderstorms across Naga City and Camarines Sur Friday morning January 1 and on the uh, afternoon of Friday January 1 the rainfall will start to weaken but still some light to sometimes moderate uh, on and off rain, rain showers will be expected on January 1st and on January 2 still some showers and thunderstorms will pass across the Bicol region uh, and on Sunday it will start to weaken okay and so far this will be a two to three day windy and uh, sh passing showers expected across Bicol region and some portions of eastern Visayas and uh, also some thunderstorms across Mindanao uh, so take note we still uh, we are still over the uh, La Nina conditions so we stay on necessary precautions and before we leave you is the latest global tropics hazards and uh, benefits outlook from the climate prediction center from NOAA so this is for the next two weeks so for week one Bali December 30 to January 1 2021 Above average rainfall will be expected across Mindanao, Sulu Archipelago, and uh, Palawan because of the prevailing La Nina conditions. So expect some heavy rainfall over the areas of Mindanao between December 30 to January 5. And on uh, January 6, a week 2, by January 6 to January 12, uh, the Philippines will just be on the neutral phase of the uh, climate and we expect uh, still some passing showers in the afternoon or evening particularly the eastern sections of the country between january 6 to january 12 2021 so far it's so good for the next uh, uh, two weeks no tropical cyclone development 
and uh, we will be returning again on Friday, the first day of January 2021, and uh, to give you the very latest on our weather situation around the Philippines. From Typhoon 2000, it's Mike Pada reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag with the wiser, hashtag Typhoon wiser. Happy New Year to all, and thank you for watching our YouTube channel.